everyone, um, my name is Monica Ogeo Diakose and I'm excited to be sharing this talk of creating your wealth map. Yeah, um, I'm going to be fast with it and I don't know, can anyone relate to this? What I'm doing? Yeah? then you're right. What do I mean by cash flow quadrant? Do you know that um, we spend most of our lives, most of our lives, trying to make ends meet? We spend most of our lives trying to make ends meet. We work so hard day in and day out, and still we can't miss off, most of us can't miss off financially. Why? Because we're not really taught in school. How do we do take care of our finances? But we spend most of our lives struggling with our finances. And so there are certain things that we need to do, there are certain things we need to know if we want to be able to work, get it right with our finance. Because what is the point working so hard and at the end you're not able to meet up? That's because the kind of income, the kind of work we are doing, determines what the results that we're going to get. So by cash flow program, it means how cash flows, how you get your income, how cash flows to you. So this cash flow project was designed by Robert Kiyosaki. You also have reached that for that. If you read the book or you read about the book, you can drop your say yes in the comment section. Yes, so this cash flow project, the first project we have here, E, it stands for an employee. It means that this cash flow quadrant, everybody, everyone here on earth, we either fall in one or more of these quadrants. There is nobody that is any that doesn't fall in any of these quadrants. So I will explain what each of them stands for. This E, which is on the first one on the left hand side, stands for an employee. Do you know anyone who works and gets salary, gets paid? Monthly or weekly, what that means is that if it doesn't work, it doesn't get paid. So you be an employee, you'll be working for somebody. And at the end of maybe you work, you get a daily pay or a weekly pay or a monthly pay. But the day you don't show up, the day you don't work, you don't get paid. That's what an employee is. So you are on you, you are working under somebody, you're working for a company, you're employed, you have an employer, you have a boss that pays you. So you resume there, and at the end of the month, you are being paid after your work. So at the end of the month, at the end of the week, you are being given what we call salary. So employees get what we call salary. The other S, this S on this side, stands for what? Self-employed. People that they are own boss. They don't want to be under somebody. They don't want to be um, answerable to someone. They have their own um, um, business. Call it business. You can see there are shop owners, you can see doctors, consultants, doctors working, maybe you own your own consulting firm, your own hospital, you are your own boss. But when it's it's um, when it's it's not a big business because when you leave, if you are not there, if you're not actively working there, you don't get paid. So these people here, the employees and the self-employed, they exchange their time for money. What that means is the day they don't show up, money don't come in. The day you don't go to work, the month you don't go to work, you don't get paid. The day you don't open your business, you know, maybe you have a supermarket. The day you don't open your business, money does not come in. The day, maybe the day you travel and you decide that oh, you're not going to be around, can you actually leave your business for one month, two months, and when money still coming, this money still be coming in? So if you can comfortably leave your business for months, and modesty comes in your head, then you're not, you, you won't call yourself an employed person. Because most people that say, okay, I'm a self-employed person, I'm my own boss, 
they really have a, they have a business, but the business owns them in the sense that they can't comfortably leave their businesses for a period of time and still make money. It's just that the person they put there, they will turn the business and they start collecting money from them. That's the second point. So this is the left side of the quadrant. There's people here on this side, they exchange their time for money. So time here equals money. So when they are there, the energy, efforts, everything is here. They will move towards the right side of the quadrant. On the right, right side of the quadrant, we have the big businesses and we have the investor quadrants. By big business, every business that have at least 500 employees and above, at least 500 employees, what that means is that this business can function on its own without the owner. Take, for instance, um, the banks we have. The banks we have, or say, for instance, let's say Glow. Glow Company, you know, Adeluga that is there. Without him, you can't make calls. He already has a system. What this have is what a system in place. What that means is, whether it's there or not, whether it's there or not, money still comes in because he have employee, he has a system. So he doesn't need to show up before he gets cash flow. He doesn't need to show up before he makes money. Why invest? So yeah, people, yeah, people equals money. This one is your time equal money. The day you don't show up, you don't get paid. But yeah, people equal money. So the more people they have, these people are working for them. They get paid salary. So the big business owner employs, part of it is they employ the employees. So they don't need to show up before they get paid. Why the investors? This other side of the project, this is investors. This one, their money is working for them. Money equals money. Yeah, money equals money. Yeah, their money is working for them. They've sent money on an errand. So instead of them having, yeah, people work for them. People bring in money. This one, their money is working for them. So they, they are the big investors. They invest in, um, they invest, have uh, big investments like in real estate. And so their money, yeah, is working for them. So this is the right side of the quadrant. And for the right side of the quadrant, yeah, they don't exchange their time for money because they have systems. Is it that their money is working for them or people are working for them? So the owners of these big businesses or investors, these people have what we call time freedom. They have the time. You see some of them uh, on a Monday morning, they will be on the beach. They will be in different places. They will be traveling and still you're wondering, money still comes in. They still have cash flow because it's not depend their income is not dependent solely on them. It's not dependent on them because they have a system in place. And guess what? Five percent of the world population, the world population, five percent are on this side, on this right side of the quadrant. Why for the world population? The other 95 percent are here. How many big businesses do we know? How many investors, big investors do we know? We, we don't mean, when we say an investor, you, the money that you're making from your investments, the money you're making from your investment is enough to take care of you that you don't need to show up, you don't need to work. That's what qualifies you. You don't need to be physically present before you make money here. You don't need to spend your time before you make money here, unlike this place. So I would say in the world population generally, we have 5% of people on this side, on this right side of the quadrant, why we have 95% of the world population are on this side. And guess what? This 95%, they are struggling for what? 5% of the world's wealth. This 95% population, they are struggling for 5% of the world's wealth. So it's never enough. It's a struggle. Why on this side? This 5%, they are struggling, they are working, and they are enjoying 95% of the world's wealth. You see, so they, there's abundance here, there's lack here, there's stress, no enough money, no enough time. There's so much stress here, unlike here. There's hard work here, here there's smart work. There is no time here, there's time freedom here. But what most of us, especially in our school system, have been taught is how to be here. 
How many times have you been taught on how to be on the right side? We are either trained in school to be a good employee, to go to school, graduate, and get a good job, or if you get tired of this, I want to be my own boss, and you hop into the, the, the self-employed quadrant where you exchange your time for your money. Unlike on this side, on this side, they have people working for them, they have business, um, their money working for them. So these people, there's more time freedom here, there's smart work here, like here where there is hard work, there is stress, and there is um, um, no time freedom on this side. And you may be wondering, if you are currently on the left side of the quadrant, you can just signify by raising your hands in the comment section. Just put a thumbs up or something in the left hand or the left hand side because then ninety five percent of the world's population are here. Why we have just five percent? So we have few persons on this side. I am wondering why, because of what system we're used to, what we have been trained to do from school, from from bed. You see, so we have fewer people on this side of the quadrant where there is abundance, not like on this side. So to transition from the left side to the right side, if you if you are currently on the left side of the quadrant, as I said, you can signify. And if you would love to move from this left side to the right hand side, just signify and say, move on the comment section. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. If you would like to move from the left hand side, yeah. You know, the first thing, the first thing is, um, um, is awareness. Once you are aware of something, then you can do something about it. But if you are here and you're not even aware that you are here, that's even a much bigger issue. But when you are aware that this is, this is the reality, so you have to say, how come 95% of the population are here struggling for 5% of the world's wealth? Why we have only 5% of the world population here? So they are working. They are enjoying 95% of the world's wealth. So you say, okay, what does it take to get here? What does it take to move, to transition from the left-hand side to the right-hand side? And I'll show you how to transition from this to this. And you say, yeah, your time is equal money. Yeah, people equal money. Yeah, um, your money is equal money. So we'll start with this place. For this place, for you to be able to move, most people start from here. And they move to self-employed from there you can move in some people start straight from here and you can move in so and then when you make money from here you cannot decide to want to move to the investor program so there can be a transition to this place so to transition to this place what are those businesses that you can involve get involved in with so you can be the plane and the name of big business owner one is an automated business automated business Like I made mention of bank, made mention of banks, like the directors of banks. Not the, sh the shareholders, I mean directors of banks, directors of big banks. These are the directors. They're not the ones at the teller, they're not the ones at the marketing section. They are not the managers of the bank that are present there. They must be there day in day. These are the owners of the bank. So as people are working, they get paid. They get paid. They get paid. So that's one example of what a big business. Another one is intellectual property. Have you written a book? Have you sung a song? What you get here, you get royalties on this. So you already have the system, you, you wrote a book once, or you keep making money from the book. You wrote a book once, you keep making money from the book. You, you sang a song once, but you keep getting deals, you keep getting money from that song. So you did the work once, but you keep getting a result from it. So you don't really need to be there every time singing the song before money comes in. But while you are singing the song, while you sang the song once, you keep getting um, money from the song that you sang or the book that you wrote. Another part of this is what? Real estate. If you own real estate, real estate that drinks in money, Real estate that brings in money. So you have rental properties you rent out, and you get what rental income from this. So you can make, you can own them. Um, maybe you own an event center. When they rent the place, they give you gets you money. It gets you money. Another way of getting this is through network marketing. 
network marketing, when you build your network marketing organization, up to you have at least 500 active people that are working with you. They're not working for you, they're working with you to see that what succeeds. So these are the, uh, some of the major op uh, options that we have. To have an automated business, it is not small money. To be a big director, you have to put in big money to get the results. To have an intellectual property, you have to have talent. It's not necessarily the money, but you have the skill, you have the talent. So you've written a book before, you've signed a song before, and you keep getting money. Take for instance, Michael Jackson right there. His children are still, get, are still making money from songs that he sang, even if he's not alive. His children are singing. So what they are getting is a royalty on this. Then real estate, you have a property or you have properties that are bringing in money for you. And with this money that you are making from this property, you don't need to work again, you have to work in Jordan. Network marketing also, as I said, all these ones you need huge startup capital. Or like network marketing that you can start with a little capital and you can still enjoy all this, the rewards this on this, this um, other options are enjoying. So once you have at least 500 active members you are working with as a team, you are in the big business. Then investors, where you have your money working for you. So when you have enough money, you can start investing in purposes. So this is it. So now you know, what are you going to start doing? I'd like to see your comment. What are you going to start doing currently to see that you don't longer remain, you don't remain here forever? Yeah, most of us start here. But having the mind, that this is not it, this is where you're moving to. And start taking necessary actions to see that you get to this part of the quadrant. That is what is key. So, what are you going to be doing today? After having listened today, what are you going to be doing today to see that you move from this left hand side of the quadrant to the right hand side of the quadrant? What are you going to start doing today? I would like to see it in the comment section. You can drop it in the comment section. So if you have questions, if you have questions, if you have questions, please feel free to drop, feel free to drop your questions and we'll see. Then if you have other ways you want, other things you want us to talk about, feel free and you drop it and we'll discuss on it. Thank you so much for going through this. I really appreciate you. Thank you. And if you got value from this, do well to like, do well to share. If you know anyone that will get value from this also, do well to share, share it with them too. Thank you until I come your way next time. Thanks.